Hi everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Mosh Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me. Um, this is for the first week of April. I am almost caught up <laughs> with my plan with me. I have a couple like outstanding from February that I'm still gonna go back and do. Um, but as far as like filming all the plan with me's up until where we are now in May, I'm like really close. I'm a week or two off. Um, I just haven't edited them and done the voiceover and uploaded them because that's the part that's not very fun. But um, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting real close. So um, this week I did this kit from Nikki Plus 3. I think it's called Simply Spring. Um, if I caught it as it was just going across right there. Oh, look what I did to the bottom washi. So sad. <laughs> I tore it right in half. I was like, oh, oh no. Um, anyways, her it's the first time I'm using one of her kits, and um, I love it. It was so nice to play in with. Her paper is amazing. This is easily the most foiled kit I think I've ever used before. There's so much foil. You can see it once um, I show you like the shots at the end that have the whole spread. You can see it's just like crazy amount of foil on the kit. Um, but yeah, it was really, really fun to plan with this kit. I just, her paper is so nice. It's that really, like, I say it every once in a while, it's the unicorn, I think people call it the unicorn kind of paper, that really buttery, soft, smooth. I don't know what the, like, actual terminology is. I hear people, some people who make stickers, they'll be like, in their plan with me, so they'll be like, oh, it's the inkjet or it's the laser print. I have no idea. Like, I really don't know. <laughs> but I just know that it's, like, very soft and, like, almost like a vinyl like I, I don't know but it's just real. like the print quality is amazing her foil quality is amazing like there's not a single foil mistake that I can see um which is pretty incredible for a kit with this much foil on it um yeah and I just really like all the florals and the kind of soft spring pastels like of course we all know that I'm if you've been around for a bit that's definitely my jam florals and um and like pink and pastels so um, the only thing that I was kind of missing here was the sidebar. So I wish I, the, the box sticker that I just put down the, in the, what, why my words are escaping me in the upper left hand corner there. Um, I would have liked to have like a foiled quote or something to put over that. I couldn't find one because my desk is such a mess right now. My stickers are all over the place. So that looks a little boring to me and I wish I would have done something. If there would have been more deco, I would have put it there, but there wasn't. So, oh, well. And then she doesn't have any like full heart checklists, um, like full box heart checklists. She has these like bow um, flag ones. So I kind of made do there. I don't love that, but um, that was really the only thing that was missing from the kit for me where, cause it's a pretty small kit, but the spread ended up looking very full. So, um, but yeah, she does have the like weekly tracker um, full like checklist thing that I'm, kind of out of frame doing down here sorry about that but um just missing one of the the whole the whole full box ones but um yeah I ended up cutting up the bottom washi to make some dividers so that looked pretty cute too and um she yeah I don't know it she had these like the, her boxes are so foiled so they're so they were really fun to use and she definitely like distributes the color well which makes it easy to um place them throughout your spread which is nice um I I want to say too I love her style like I love her playing with me's I think she's really sweet and um just really talented like when her kits are very different I think than a lot of stuff that's out there um even if she uses some like commercially available clip art her uh, her style just kind of like she's got this very shabby chic um really kind of like classic old school um, lots of florals, lots of pattern kind of style, and it's just really well done. So I love her kits, and I love watching her playing with me's, and I'm really excited. This is like, I bought like three kits of hers all at one time, and I had never shot from her before, I don't think, besides some of her bows, which I use every week now, but, um, but yeah, so I was just really glad to have those. And then I'm, um, putting down, she includes these really pretty, like, foiled patterned headers, so I love those. I put those down. Um, the peachy ones are actually from a planning world kit that I had extras of that I think, I can't remember which one, but the peach color is literally a dead-on match, um, so that was pretty great, and then she has the, like, foiled to-do and today headers, which I, 
I think you will see I'm like trying to put some of them down right now um but it was honestly just too much blue um because the pattern headers are pretty blue as well um they kind of match that box on Saturday um so I was just like feeling too much blue so I actually end up pulling those up um you'll probably see in a second here after I finish putting down these patterned ones, but I end up pulling them up and I can't remember. Oh yes. These, um, again are the, the, I put some bows down, which again are from just some leftovers from a kit that I used from planning world too. I don't, I wonder if it's the same kit. I don't know. Um, but I think that ends up looking better because I do like the blue is like one of the less pastel colors and the peach is much more soft and pastel I think so I just felt like that just kind of made everything look a little bit softer um I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I missed um that I put down that I didn't talk about most of this stuff is really from the kit the only thing um the flags on the in the upper corners are from um tasseled planner um otherwise I think everything is from the kit that I haven't mentioned. Okay, so I think now we can move on to the day by day. Um, I'm putting down one of her bill due scripts. Um, I had a uh, payment due for, so now this is where it gets confusing because my I'm going out of order posting my plan with me. So like you've seen the most recent plan with me's I've uploaded have been happened after this. Um, so at this point, at the beginning of April, um, I still had um, a bachelorette party like bill due, so I marked that as well as my rent because it was the first um, with that sticker from the kit. And then I'm putting down, um, I went to Starbucks, so I used her uh, cup from the kit and then a tasseled planner heart over that. And then the box on the bottom is a, a pedicure, well, it's from the kit and then the bows a lot of her kits i think come with with bows if you buy them right when they're released i don't think i did for this kit so i think these are my own bows from her that i'm using that i just pulled the right colors in but anyway so i put one of her bows over the box i think i did that for every half box in this kit and then i took a gp sticker studio my favorite nail polish sticker from her to mark that i went and got um i had a pedicure appointment that night and went and got my toes done um, I took this um, planner from planning, uh, no, for, oh yeah, planning like a pro, which really the colors and the style match the kit really well. So I was pleased with that to mark that I edited a video and did a voiceover that night. And then I also took, she gives, now she has these like icons, cutout icons that come with the kit. So I just used a fork, no, yes, a fork and spoon. I was about to say a fork and knife. Fork and spoon to mark um, a meal prep, meal prepping that Monday, which I often do on Mondays. Um, Tuesday, I marked my meetings with um, a little label from the kit and then another a pen icon from planning like a pro um i am marking uploading my plan with me with a clever gal crafts heart um that matched pretty well with that kind of greeny blue color and then i also had a bunch of mail that needed to be picked up so um i'm using a tassel to planner um a tassel to planner words are escaping me i just woke up a little bit ago <laughs> Um, and I haven't had a full cup of coffee yet. Tassel planner envelope to mark that. Um, and then I was marking that Steven was at a, I think, probably a basketball game, I think, that night. So I was home alone. Um, so I just used an asterisk from the kit and then, um, I kind of skipped past it, but I went and took a bar method class, um, like a bar class, which I have not taken any the last couple weeks and I really need to get back into it because I love them so much but I marked doing that at 6 30 that night after work um Wednesday I went to press juicery I'm trying to think why normally when I go to press juicery it's because I feel like I'm getting sick or someone around me is sick and I need to ha like drink some like greens and ginger and wellness shots or whatever <laughs> um so I used a flag from the kit to mark that and then I took a flywheel class, um, my spin class at 5.30. So I used a um, half box to mark that. And then 
um, I had a bunch of meetings that day, so I took a laptop um, from her from the kit to mark that four meetings, and then that uh, squiggle is from Rose Color Days and Nikki Plus Three collaboration. Um, I think the style of that squiggle goes really well with this kit too. I don't know why. And then I'm marking again, painting my nails with the Jeep, my favorite GP sticker studio, um, nail polish sticker, and I put a tasseled planner uh, bow over it. And then I'm flipping over to the other side of the week. I think now is probably a good time to mention too that I um, have a lot of coupon codes for a lot of the shops that I've used so far. They're all um, listed in the down below bar. So uh, Planning World, Tasseled Planner, GP Sticker Studio, planning like a pro all of those and probably more that I've used that I'm just not remembering um I have coupon codes for so you can find those below um okay I had I marked on Thursday I had three meetings I just took a flag kind of boring way to mark it but all good and then I had it just like a really lazy night at home I marked that with a um a, a girl from Fox and Pip um, she's really cute. I think I just ordered more of her because I think she's really cute. <laughs> I didn't read. I doubt it. I haven't read a book in quite a while, which is very sad because I'm a big reader. I just rarely have time for it anymore. Um, okay. And then I'm marking Stephen and I went out to lunch on Thursday. So I took a, um, fork and spoon from, uh, Sticky Sloth Designs. Again, I have a coupon code for her too. And then, um, this little bow divider is also from Rose Color Days in a collaboration with the Planner Sophisticate. I've been obsessed with those. I've been using them, like, every day on some of my spreads. Um, I also filmed a plane with me that last night, last night, that night, and that clip, that paper bow clip, is that how you say that? Bow paper clip? Yeah. Is from Planning World. Um, Friday I marked Payday. Um, with a little, it's not quite a quarter box. They're kind of like, I don't know. It's like a label sized. I'd say, well, what is a label size? I guess it's almost like a, um, a little thing sized, maybe a little bit bigger, but, um, I, it is good cause it gives you room to put a whole half box there too. <laughs> um, so that payday script is so cute. I love them. And they're from Rose Color Day. She has a whole sheet of like these like, um, heart kind of scripted words and I love them. I want a million of them. I need to go purchase more cause they're just so adorable. Um, I marked going to Starbucks. I, I don't know why it needed to be that big. Oh, I think it's because that coffee cup is on that half box like it's not I didn't add that it's just part of the half box so I think I just decided to utilize it <laughs> to mark going to Starbucks and then I had one meeting that um arrow is very crooked and looking at my planner now it's still crooked I didn't fix it <laughs> it's from uh sticky sloth designs I believe and then I had a call with um, I'm like hiring an intern right now at work. So I had a call with somebody that I used to dance with who was kind of like my like little buddy at dance um, just to talk to her about like, you know, potentially interning at my company. That phone is from Sticky Sloth Designs. It was really good to catch up with her. I haven't talked to her since she was like, I don't know, maybe in high school or something. And now she's like graduating college. So that's always fun. Just like see what, what she's doing, how she's doing, just that kind of thing. And then uh, just on Friday night was pretty lazy. We just had a Game of Thrones marathon. Um, and I used a foam clapper from Magic Prince Co. Um, okay, on to Saturday. Um, I am using another one of those kind of small uh, quarter box esque <laughs> label little thing ish things. Um, from the kit and a uh, credit card from the kit to mark that um, our second payment for our venue for my wedding was due. Um, so that's definitely a big deal, no joke. And um, then I am cutting down, um, I, I think I'd say this in literally every plane with me, but uh, my those nail polish stickers from GP Sticker Studio that I've already used multiple times this week and that I love so much. 
um, because that pink goes with literally everything. Um, I sometimes like to cut them down when I don't have as much space to use them. So, um, and then I just put the, you saw how I layer the, well, it's not really layering. I just put the brush next to the bottle and set up on top of it to give me some more space. Um, so I just painted my nails this day, probably in the morning. And then that floral box I'm getting ahead of myself I try I tried really hard to slow down this plan with me and not edit so much out so I'm not like rushing through all my words which I think it's been nice sometimes I get a little stuck because I don't know what to say which is fine I can generally just talk through it and it's not a big deal but I think it's better when I slow it down a little bit and then like can breathe <laughs> when I'm doing the voiceover uh you tell me what you think though um okay so then the little floral uh quarter box whatever thing um i use that to mark that i went to the gym that morning um and i used a little dumbbell um from the kit and then um saturday night we went over and we hung out with my parents and had drinks with them and appetizers and stuff like that um i cannot remember for the life of me the name of the shop where that wine glass is from but i finally found wine glasses that i like just very doodly very soft pink not too cartoony love it i just wish she made some that were bigger because on days when i go like wine tasting and that's the main event i need like a big wine glass you know um, but so I marked that I layered a bow from tasseled planner over that to mark just going and hanging out with my parents and then um, the half box with the um, Nikki plus three bow on top of course um, I use that to mark that we went over after we went and saw my parents we went, went over to Steven's parents house and we had dinner um, with them there um, and then Sunday was just a very like get your life together kind of day for me so um, I filmed a plan with me I think I took a little thing from the kit or a label from the kit to mark that as well as a um, heart from Clever Gal Crafts and then um, this actually I kind of marked all this stuff out of order but we went and got groceries so I used a shopping cart from the kit and then I also went and did another flywheel class i was good about working out this week dang i have not been this good lately <laughs> um so i used that um kettlebell is from my newest addiction um and then i'm marking my flywheel class it's actually a fly tempo class which is my favorite kind of flywheel class but they don't really do a lot of them anymore which is a bummer but they're it's like more like um more like you there's like choreography almost where you do like push-ups and like tap backs and stuff on the bike while you're doing it and you really have to like stay to the tempo you're always supposed to stay to the tempo of the music when you do classes but yeah I don't know I really like it kind of keeps me distracted and like I have to think about choreography so I'm not thinking about how I'm dying you know um okay and then Sunday we what we did a bunch of errands I didn't really mark them down but we went to like Target and all that kind of stuff so by the time we were done grocery shopping and Target and all that we didn't want to go home and make dinner so we just went and got poke bowls and we sat outside it was actually really nice it was a nice night for for April so we did that and then instead of marking errands I just put a piece of washi down and then one of the um rose colored days like planner sophisticate squiggle things um to just take up some space there so this is the spread it is so so foiled if you ever are like oh i you know i want a really foiled kit definitely go with nikki plus three her kits are just so foiled and i just used i like ran with it and used a lot of foiled stickers <laughs> um and it just turned out like wow like so so foil foiled like if you look at the spread right now or no no lights hitting it and then the difference when i like do a little viv wiggle situation i think it's crazy um but yeah that's pretty much the whole spread i really hope you enjoyed it um thank you always so much for watching and that's all bye